Suppose I am dealing with uh, the ray diagram for a compound microscope. It means I am forming the image at near point. So generally, in a compound microscope, what we uh, what we want is we want to see the image as large as possible, as magnified as possible. So that's why we 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 arrange things in such a way that the image is formed at the near point, exactly at the near point. So so I am dealing with uh, this case. So once again, I am using hands only. I am not using scale to see whether I can draw up to my satisfaction or not, or up to your satisfaction or not. So uh, for that, for that, the technique that we need is uh, we draw the principal axis, of course. So uh, two lines space here, yeah, about two lines, or let us say three lines, three lines, and uh, then we form the principal axis here. This is the principal axis. The principal axis should be such that, such that, such that, such that. Uh, here we have to have around 2 cm here and here about 3 cm here, about 3 cm. That's because we are leaving some space for safety purpose here, about 3 cm. So if something happens, we can use that space. So now, this is 2 cm, this thing is 2 cm and this thing is 3 cm. So take note of it. Now, uh, about 1 cm from here, I will make an object which is of one line in your copies. It should be one line in your copies, not much because we are trying to uh, magnify things, magnify things. So the object should be small and the image should be large. So we are making it small, one line. So this is about one centimeter. So from here, about one and a half centimeter, at about one and a half centimeter, you draw, you draw this, uh, this lens. So this is the axis of the lens, axis of the lens. As the object is smaller, this objective lens also is smaller. You can uh, observe in the real microscopes as well. So I am forming the lens here. I am forming the lens here, lens surface. So this is two centimeter. This is half centimeter, and this thing is one and half centimeter. Now let us fix the focus of this thing at about one centimeter. So one centimeter, one centimeter from the lens. So this distance, this is one centimeter, one centimeter, half centimeter. Now let's form the first image. We draw one light ray which goes uh, parallel to the principal axis like this. So after refraction, it goes like this, it goes like this, like this, like this, almost straight. And uh, from here, this line will go without any bending from the optical center. So it goes like this, like this, like this. So as you can see, as you can see, this is the first image. This is the first image formed by formed by the first lens. This is the objective. So let us say this is O, center of the objective, and this is L O. L O means lens objective. This point is F O. This point is F O, and uh, this uh, distance is the distance here is U O, U O, and uh, the distances also. This is a small F O, small F O. So the ray is going somewhat like this. Now, now what you can do is now we have a choice where to form the image. Where to form the image? So let me let me form the image right at this left border, left border, and uh, I can uh, manipulate the distance to any value I can. If I make it large, this thing will finish right here. If I make it a bit smaller, it can extend up to here. So what I want is I'd like to at least make it uh, four or five times higher than this. 4, 5 times or maybe 6, 7 times higher than this. So, let me draw it. So, this is the final image. So, let me draw it as large as I can. So, final image here. Now, from <coughs> here things start. So, let me first join these things. Join this thing. So, it goes straight here. These two things I join. And from here it crosses here. So, this point is the position of the lens. This point will be the position of the second lens, which is the eyepiece. So let's draw the lens. So from here, this is the dotted line which forms the axis of the lens. Axis. So make it uh, large, make it uh, a bit thicker as well. Like this. So let's draw a line parallel to this. Like this. And now let's connect this and this. Let's connect these two. So let's connect. When I connect things, like this, yes. So my space is enough for what I have drawn. So there is a slightly curve here. I can notice, I can notice, I can see. 
so it is it goes like this like this now as you can see here light ray come from here one light ray goes through the optical center without any deviation this is the optical center for the eyepiece lens so i name it as e this is l eyepiece one light ray goes parallelly and passes through the focus so this point should be the focus of the eyepiece lens now since this is the focus the focus and the focus point of the other side should be here so it should be somewhere here so this is fe and this is the position of the object for this thing so let us say this is ab ab this becomes a prime and uh, b prime b prime and this becomes a double prime and b double prime double prime uh, so let's draw <coughs> let's draw the direction of the rays the eyes are here eyes looking from here so this is a visual angle which is beta so this is the angle uh, with uh, uh, with by using the device uh, now uh, let us say mm, yeah so this is uo this distance is a vo so this is vo from here to here this is a ue from here to here and this thing is ve equal to minus d minimum equal to minus d minimum from here to here now if i compare this thing compare this thing with the object also at the same distance this thing it will be somewhat like this so let's draw the object here draw the object here so this this thing this thing same size and uh, let's draw the axis here let's draw the axis here axis and let's uh, position the eye over here exactly below that and the ray goes like this ray goes 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 like this so this angle will be so this angle will be will be will be this will be alpha so this is the position of the eye here and so we can see i like this so this is alpha small angle this is a beta larger angle and this distance is also equal to d minimum now to denote that uh, things are virtual so what i do is so let me make them dotted so dotted here virtual image and these light rays also not real they simply appear to be like that so virtual so from here things virtual so let us take a note that uh, real things are drawn in solid lines and uh, virtual things are drawn in uh, dotted lines so u o v o and f o also this is small f o small f o this is a uh, small f e and uh, small f e as well so if i show all those things the diagram becomes very much scrambled so just i'm just showing this much